Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Thursday, May 14th, 2009. This morning I thought I'd go through a feature that's coming up in the next release of VisualWorks, and that is ActiveX support integrated into the system, meaning you can embed ActiveX components into GUI windows. To show you what I'm talking about, let's go to the Parcel Manager, and we're going to have to load in the support for this. Now there's going to be a manual step here because this is the first release that this has shown up in builds, and this is a development build of the product. So we're going to go down here to OS Windows, and first we're going to load the COM support. You'll notice that there isn't an ActiveX category here, and that's because it hasn't been added in here yet. Before we ship, that'll go in. Now once we've loaded the COM support, we're going to go to the Directory View. And in Directory View, we're going to select COM, select ActiveX Load All, hit Load, and bring that support in. With that loaded, what we can do is close the Parcel Manager and go to the browser. Now in the browser, if you open up the ActiveX section, you'll notice there are some demos here. So we can go right in here, and down towards the bottom, you'll find there's one called Web Browser. This is kind of an interesting one to load because it's an, a quick demo. So let's do Web Browser Open, and we'll do a Do It on that. Now this comes up as a tiny window that I'll need to resize, but once having done that, you'll see that I've got Internet Explorer in my browser, or Internet Explorer in a VisualWorks window, I should say. Not rendering correctly because I haven't sized it properly, so it's kind of squished, but you can see I've got the browser here, I've got my URL up here, and if I select something up, up here, I can go to somewhere else. So I can go to www.syncomsmalltalk.com, and it should go there. And there you see it rendered, brought in the Flash content, of course, because it's just a browser. It's not VisualWorks doing this part. It's the ActiveX component. So let's close that down. And what I'm going to do is build a quick demo to show you how this actually works. So I'm going to go here to my painter, bring this stuff into view. And we're going to bring that over, bring over the little GUI, make that a little bigger so you can see it better. Now what we're going to do is select this ActiveX control, and we're going to pop it down here. Now with that selected, we're going to go over to Properties. I'll call this M Player because I'm going to use the Media Player. And then down here, I'm going to select under the W's, I'm going to select Windows Media Player, and that'll be fine. Once I apply this, you'll see that it's going to paint, but it's going to be very small. Rather than resize it there, I'm going to go to the position, and I'm going to set the properties here in an appropriate fashion. So I'm going to go to the top and say I want it to start at 0 over 1. The right side should be all the way over, but back negative one, and the bottom all the way to the bottom, and back negative one. And now that'll come in and fill the whole window. Now one other thing I want to do, I want to go to Properties here, and I want to scroll down to URL. Now I could set this programmatically, but what I'm going to do is just hard code something to make this quick. So www.syncomsmalltalk.com slash casts slash stdio underscore cast. WMB. Now I could show you one of the more recent ones. The difficulty is that in this codec for this Windows Media Player I don't have support for anything other than WMDs loaded since I don't really use the Media Player that often. I'm mostly on the Mac side. So I don't load stuff into this instance of Windows here. So let's go ahead and install this. And I'll call this My Player. And we'll hit OK. We'll hit OK there. Now we'll hit Define. Hit OK. So now we'll do an open on this. Bring that into the view. Make it a little bigger. And you can see that it's playing my movie. Now you're not seeing a whole lot go on because I don't have the audio enabled so that you can hear it. But you can see the movie's playing and you can see that it's showing me the clip information that I've got in that video. So assuming your media player had the right codecs loaded, you could load any media into this and it would run just fine. So that's about it for today. You can see that we've got some interesting stuff coming into the next pro version of VisualWorks. So until then, have fun with Smalltalk.